Okay, we are recording Sisterhood um, January Mentorship Call. Welcome, everybody. It's the 10th. This is kind of like the latest in the month we've ever kicked off our mentorship. So uh, we just kind of wanted everyone to settle into the new year and to just sort of figure out why they're here and get their feet wet. So welcome. This is officially kicking off our three-week series. So we will have these calls every Sunday for the next three weeks. And um, I guess one of the very first things that we want to say to you is congratulations. You're now a business owner, you are a coach, and that is really, really exciting. What you are not is an employee of ours, of the sisterhood, of Beachbody. I want you to really, really recognize that this is your business and everything you do from here on out is up to you. You can pour as much or as little into this. You can hit the milestones and do all the things or not. You're not disappointing me or Erin or any other coach on this team if you don't do it. Maybe you're disappointing yourself, but I, I hope that you recognize this is your business. There's no apologies. If you can't get on the call, if you can't do this, you can't, don't say sorry in the chat. Like, not to be rude, but like, we don't want to hear it. It's totally your business. This is up to you, and I'm giving you permission to own that. Because when you do, you'll realize how bad you want something. And part of this call is us going to be discussing, like, why do you want to do this? Because that's going to be something that helps you figure out what you put into this business. So congratulations, you're a coach. Um, the second really, really big thing that we want to talk to you guys about is your number one job starting right now as a coach is your journey. It's really exciting because a, a program launch started this month. So I think probably the majority of you guys are doing control free, but if you're not, you're doing another program and that's great for whatever reasons. This is your job. Your job is now to dive into this program and be a proof of the product and get results and figure out the meal plan and share that, right? So I want you to take a look at how you've been for the last week during Control Freak and if you need to make any modifications to that. Did you take kick-ass before pictures? I hope you did. If you didn't, go and take some right now. And on that same line, like I always tell new coaches, you want to take sort of your million dollar selfie. And that is not a selfie that a customer would take. You're a coach and you're going to be sharing some of these pictures, hopefully in the future. And that means that you need to find a light and bright place in your home. Maybe you have somebody else take it, an outfit that you can duplicate, right? That you can put on in another month or in two months and really duplicate what you look like, right? But show that you are a proof of the product. This isn't about losing weight, it's about showing up and being consistent and being a proof of the product. And that's gonna look different for everybody. So I don't want you to be in the comparison game. There's gonna be women here that, you know, show up as a proof of the product in different ways, stay in your own lane, figure out what your goals are for your program and be unapologetic about them. I had a new coach recently ask me like, oh, you know, how many times have you said you're going to go all in and then you ended up not doing it? And I told her once. And I'm, I'm serious. Like, listen, I've messed up at a lot of things in my life. I've not followed through at a lot of things. But when I started coaching three years ago, I posted, I, I was on day 26 of an 80-day program. I posted my progress pick from the day one to day 26. And that was it. That was my gut check to say, oh shit, now I got to follow through. And I stuck to the program 100%. If you want results, be vulnerable. Share that you're doing this 100 You're not just like creating a new healthy lifestyle. Like if you want results and you want to follow this program, commit to that. Shout it from the rooftops and share that with your audience because now they're going to be watching you. They're going to be like, is she going to do it? She's probably not going to do it. She's probably not going to get results, you know? And then it's like, bam, bam, bam. You did. You showed up. You stayed committed. You followed through. So get serious about your journey and check yourself right now before you walk into week two 
get serious about your journey and figure out what you're going to do and share that with your audience. I promise you, this is the secret sauce. Being a proof of the product in the best way possible is the secret sauce to this business. And as we go through all these other things that are super, super important, I'll tell you, if you're not on your game in your journey, you're not going to be able to do the other things the best. And you're not going to be able to be authentic about the other things. So, you know, we're going to talk about other things to share, other things to say, other things to do. But I promise, if you are not showing up in your own personal journey, that's not going to come as easily. It's really hard. And, and we'll talk about this as we go on. But like, there might be some demons in some of your lives, right? For me, one of mine was smoking when I first started coaching. And I started to see as my journey went on, as I started to want to build this business, I was like, oh, I actually can't show up with this demon and be the best coach and be authentic online like I want to. So those are things that I'm not saying you have to drop it all today, but like those are things that you're going to start to identify as you go through your journey. Your journey is to be like your healthiest, strongest self, right? A 10, start just climbing that. I don't know if you'll ever get there. I'm not there. Gosh, what would I do if I was, right? But just keep climbing and keep identifying where you can improve because your journey is your job. Um, so the next sort of thing that we want to talk to you guys about um, as we go through this training. So, so far we have dropped in the chat part of um, the first 48. Hopefully all of you guys have done that. That's how to set up your back office, how to enroll somebody. Then we dropped part one and two, which talked a little bit more about like your goals, um, your first rank goal, which would be Emerald, how to hit success club, things like that. So I just really want to quickly go over the two types of coaches that really, um, are on this team. Um, one is a hobby coach and one is a working coach. I want to preface this by saying that everybody is welcome here. And I really loop back to the beginning when I said, no apologies. This is what you want. If you want to be a hobby coach, and I'll explain what that is, wicked. There is such a beautiful space in anybody's life to be a hobby coach that, that will serve you. So um, a hobby coach is basically somebody that, you know, wants to be a part of this incredible community and wants to share their journey online and wants to help some women around them do these products once in a while. And that's great. And if that's what you want to do with this business, then amazing. Welcome to the sisterhood. And there's always going to be a place for you. There, there are a ton of beautiful hobby coaches and they show up in our community and our main page. There's such an amazing cheerleader, etc. But there's a difference between a hobby coach and um, a working coach. And a working coach is somebody that wants to actually build this business. Um, and sorry, I keep saying woman but I am aware that Mo, you are on this call and we are really, really excited to have you. So woman and man, just translate everything I say. <laughs> Thank you, thank uh, you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, the second is a working coach, okay guys? And if you wanna build a business, this is yours for the taking. And I know a lot of you guys have watched Aaron and I build this from the ground up. We are walking into year three and what this has done for our life is actually unimaginable. I remember year one, we would say like, do you think this is going to work for us? Like, do you think we can do it? And year two saying like, I feel underpaid for the work I'm doing. And you know, there's a lot of emotions that happened in between those two years. But as we're, you know, coming into year three, like I'm overpaid. So if you want to be a working coach and if you want to build this business, lean into this training, lean into the materials that we provide, stay in your own lane and figure out why. Originally for me, it was for accountability. It wasn't financial. That really came as I started to figure out the business. But why do you want to do this today? I would really suggest that you write that down, maybe on a sticky note and put it in lots of different places where you're going to be working. And then the second thing is that you set your first goals. So if you finished part one and two, I'm not going to regurgitate the material. It's to, up to you guys to go in and watch those videos. But if you finished part one and two, what's your first goal? Do you want to be Emerald? Do you want to make a hundred bucks this month? 
Do you want to find five women to join your next group? Do you want to find two women to join your, like set some goals, reach out to your coach, share those goals with her and let's get rolling. Karen's going to talk a little bit more about some of the details. So I'll pass it to her. Hey, hey guys, I am pumped to be here today. I'm super excited to speak with all of you. Um, Courtney's not wrong. Like when we first started this business, I was like this, like, I don't know. I don't know. What are people thinking? What's everybody at work going to think? Like I was scared shitless. I like tiptoed my way through this business for the first six months because I was just so petrified of what people thought of me. So if that's where you're at, um, solidarity, I get it. I understand. My biggest advice is just keep putting one foot in front of the other. It really does get easier, but it only gets easier by doing it, by trying it out, by doing a post, by doing one story, by, you know, Danielle, that's where you're at. I get it. I get it. My first few stories, honestly, were just pictures of my feet beside my weights and was like, check. That's all I had the balls enough to do. I like, it took me so long to speak to the camera. It took me so long to get to where I am. So please don't compare your chapter one to my chapter, I'd say three now, cause I'm year three. Don't do that. You're not being fair to yourself. Okay. Because I was exactly where you, where you are, Danielle, where many, where you guys all are, we all start at zero. Okay. And it's really just pouring into you, focusing on your journey, working on this, pouring into your belief. Okay. So like what Courtney said, they're your first goals. And I hope everybody had some time to do some of the training and look through that is Emerald and success club. Emerald is means you're going to have two coaches underneath of you. Those don't need to be working coaches. In fact, I don't know a single Emerald coach who had two working coaches. Typically, it's somebody who is like looking for the discount, likes the products, want to continue on with their products. Um, so maybe that's somebody close to you, like a friend or a sister or your parent, something like that. And typically, it means signing up your spouse. I know for me, when I first started and um, our coaches suggested signing up our spouse, I was like, what? And I remember vividly talking to Courtney and being like, I just feel like Beachbody is just making money off of the coaches. Like, why would I sign up Matt and spend more every single month to keep his account active? But they told me to, they said, if you want to have something big in this business, sign up your spouse now, you won't regret it. And now two and a half years later, my husband makes income from Beachbody. In fact, I get three, three paychecks every week from Beachbody. So it's more complicated than that. And it's worth having a discussion with your coach to see if that's right for you or not. My advice now, having lived through it, is that if you want big things from this business, if you anticipate making big money from this, and eventually you want to make really great money doing this, don't be stupid. Sign up your spouse right away because you want them at the top of your leg so that they benefit from everybody they sign up underneath. There's a few coaches on my team who were really lenient. And I was like, no, no worries. Like don't sign them up if you don't want to. And they ended up doing it six months later and they regretted it because they signed up rock star coaches above their, their husband or wife or spouse, whatever. Okay. Talk about it with your coach. If it's something you're, if you are interested in long-term in this business. Um, and if you have another coach, then having the two will get you to Emerald, which is your first rank advancement. Ultimately guys, you're not opening up the compensation plan fully until you're at Emerald. You can't make team volume bonuses or money off of the coaches and the, all, everybody underneath you until you get to Emerald. That's when you open up the compensation plan. Again, that's all in the training. So I hope you have some time to go through that. Your second goal is to hit success club. Success club means helping a minimum of three people with a challenge pack every single month. Every time you help somebody with a challenge pack, you'll get two points. So to hit SC5 really is SC6 because you're going to get six points with three challenge packs. If you're able to hit success club three times, that means three months, within your first six months, then you'll get to be in one of Beachbody's brand new, like be a test participant in one of their brand new programs. So I know some people are going to be in Shanti's new program, uh, like testing out that new program. And then the ones for the next few months are going to be in um, uh, Mwala's new program that's coming out in the summer, which is super, super exciting. Also as a success starter, if you hit your success club within the, your three months, within the first six months, you also get a free ticket to our coach summit, which is literally the best event in the entire world. So hopefully that happens this year. 
We'll see. Um, but that is really your first goal as a coach. There is a lot of training in this business, but there doesn't need to be. I'm going to be super honest. This business is really simple. You share your journey, you help other people with theirs, you inspire other people, and you keep them motivated to get results, right? There, every single top coach out there though, shares all their training on, on YouTube. If you want, you could spend hours on YouTube, watching videos, listening to podcasts from top coaches. You could like soak it all in. I remember when I first started, I would be doing laundry with my, like my AirPods in, just listening and listening. Like I, I just wanted to soak it all in, but it doesn't work guys. Cause ultimately this business isn't all about learning. It's about doing. This business is actually like a, a do and then learn business. You take action, you do the things and you learn from it and you keep going. If you get stuck in that learning zone, you won't actually move forward. And in my experience, to be honest, if you're feeling insecure and you're feeling stuck and you're afraid to put out yourself out there on social media, the only way to move on from that is to start doing it, validating that you can do it, building your confidence up with it, and continuing forward. The only way to build your confidence in it though, is to try. And then you fail, you learn from it, you move forward. So please take action. Don't sit in the learning zone. So this month, even though we'll be focusing on teaching you the basics and the learning, I really challenge you to start taking action on doing the things now. How many, let's put some hands up. Everybody, if you can put your screen on. How many of you have put a post out on social media that says, this is what I'm doing. I'm a coach now. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing some hands. I'm seeing some hands. Amazing. All right. Ultimately guys, until you do that, as far as I'm concerned, you're barely open for business. People don't know. People don't know what you're doing. And if you're like me at the beginning, I was sharing those like posts of my feet and my work and my weights. And I thought people knew what I was doing, but in fact, people had no idea. And it was really just confusing. The more kind of like awkward I was about it, the more people were like, what, what is this? Instead, if you own it and you're proud and you're excited and you share that passion and you share your excitement for helping other people, people will be like, damn, look at this. Look at them go. They mean business. They're here. They're doing it. What you have now embarked on is a beautiful, beautiful business. Do not be insecure about that. It might be different than the norm. It might not be your typical nine to five business manager kind of role, but it is the biggest blessing. And the more that you own it and you're proud of it and you just like do it, the more people will respect it. So I really challenge you to own it and put a post out there and say, this is what I'm doing and I'm damn excited about it. And this is why. If you haven't yet put that post out, we are here to help you draft that. We are here to give you tips and advice and all of the things. Please post your, like do a draft, put it in that group that we're in and let us all help you. Let us give you your feedback. Courtney, did you like, I feel like we're in school. Do you have a question? Um, I do. Tatiana was asking if uh, she should mention Beachbody in her post. And I just think that is a great topic that maybe you could touch on. We typically don't. We don't mention Beachbody because at the end of the day, they're not joining the Beachbody company. They're joining Coach Tatiana. They're joining Claire. They're joining Jordana. They're joining Coach Mo. And the, and the community and inspiration that you have to offer. So I wouldn't blatantly say, hey, I'm a Beachbody coach now because typically people are like, uh, and that's not the vibe that you have. You have so much more to offer. So I would go more the route of, I'm a, I'm a wellness coach. I have this now community. I'm here to inspire women and men to live their best lives. Um, okay. A few things that I want to now mention. So that one thing, if you haven't done a post yet, there were people who didn't put their hands up. You, you are not open for business. Okay. Make sure you get a post this week, put it in our chat. If you want help with it, we put a picture. Honestly, the, Coming out posts that do the best are the ones that are most vulnerable. The ones that people are most raw, real, honest about their own journey, about where they've come, where they've been, how, why they're doing this. Like be, be vulnerable and put a picture of you. Okay. How many of you 
are doing this alongside another career, another job that you do full time? Hands up. I want to say probably the majority of people. Okay. Same, same with me. And I'm going to be super honest with you guys. This business has a way because we get so passionate and excited and we love it so much. It has a way of taking over and you'll end up being like this all of the time because you are so excited. It's so fun and you get so passionate about it. I'll be real. That happened really fast with me and my family got really annoyed really fast too because I was like this all the time. It will happen to you if you love this business. And I want to be real that it will impact your family. It will change your family dynamics. If you're now starting to take pictures of your food at dinner, it will change the culture of your family. So you need to loop in your family, let them know what you're doing, let them in on this and truly set some office hours for yourself in this business. If you keep just going all the time, always on your phone here, there are posts here doing this all the time. It's almost like you're treating it more um, informally, like a hobby. But if you set, okay, I work my business, my, I work my day job between seven and three. I work my business between my lunch hours from 12 to one. And then my business again, between eight and 10. Those are the times where I sit down, I'm focused, I'm attentive on my, on my, on my business and I'm doing it like a career. Do yourself a favor, figure out when you're going to work this business, set those office hours and be focused and like dedicated during that time. Last thing I want to say, and then if there's, oh, the chat's blowing up. I'm assuming you're on it, Courtney. Um, last thing I really want to say is that we are doing this together. Every single one of you is pretty much in the same boat, starting up fresh, learning, learning all the beach body, learning all about social media, putting yourself out there, all of the things. I really encourage you to lean into our group and our chat because I know for me at the beginning, I was like, oh my God, every single day it was daily therapy talks. Courtney and I, I'm like, oh my God, go look at my, go look at my post. Is it embarrassing? Should I take it down? What, what, go like my post, make a comment. And, and if you don't have a person to check in with, it can get lonely, especially when you're starting something new and doing something new, lean into the chat, share a post. What do you guys think? I have this question. Where do I find out this? What do I do for this? Like truly lean into the chat. It's the reason we're all doing it together. It's the reason we come together as a community together because we're all at the same point. I guarantee you a hundred percent. If you have a question, somebody else has that question too. You will help each other by asking it in the chat instead of asking your coach directly. Because when you ask your coach directly, only you benefit. If you ask the group, everybody benefits. And I'll be honest, you'll probably benefit more because you'll get different perspectives because there's other coaches in here. This is the coolest part about owning a business in this kind of um, format is that you're in business for yourself, but you're not by yourself. You've just embarked on starting a business on your own. You are now a CEO of your own business. You are now an entrepreneur, but you're not doing it alone. And if you have questions, there's people there to help you. And if you're unsure about something, we will give it to you straight. Courtney and I are straight up. If something looks weird or you come across creepy, we will tell you. <laughs> Okay, so please lean into the chat. I really also recommend drop your IG, um, what do you call it, username? Um, yeah, your handle there so that you can get to know some of the other people in the chat. You can start kind of engaging and getting to know each other. I just want to reiterate too, guys, you know, people asked about, should I mention Beachbody in my coming out post? And we, we say this every every call. But every time there's people that do it anyway, do not put Beachbody in the link in your bio. Do not put that website there, okay? It puts people off. You, they can go directly to Beachbody and get what you're selling. It's more about the community. It's more about you. It's about joining what you're doing, right? Do not post on your profile, on your like Instagram, pictures of the new program or of the trainer, like stock photos like that. Don't post any of that stuff. 
I'm not frozen. I'm giving that some space to sit because there's going to be people that do it. I'm serious. Do not do it. We will message you and be like, take it down. You're embarrassing. Not like that, but I'm just telling you, don't do it. Okay, guys, this is about you. And we're going to talk more as the weeks go on, but like, take a look at your grid right now. Is it filled with kids? Is it filled with quotes? Is it filled with Make sure you're in there. And that's a big part of your coming out post too, right? This is about you. It's not about I'm doing it for my kids or I'm doing it. This is about you. So get you out there in a big, beautiful, bright way. And uh, yeah, you'll be good. Claire, I just want to speak to you. You said in the chat, I'm worried about coming across as a creepy salesperson. I, I get that. I did too. Um, because I didn't want my friends and family to think that I was trying to sell them. And I didn't want people to think that I was going to try and like make money off of them. Um, and so what I did is that I focused on me and I focused on my journey and I showed up every single, I still do. I show up every single day talking about me and how this is benefiting me and why I love these programs and how this pro this shake I drink every single day because I love it. Focus on you in your stories, in your posts, focus on you and your journey. That isn't creepy and salesy because it's just you talking about you. And then when you, when people start commenting or when you start inviting and reaching out to people, you just say, Hey, would you want to do this with me? Would you want to work out with me? Would you want to like do this with me? Like with me? Um, because they see what you're doing and would like, would you be interested in doing it with me too? That felt authentic. Um, and I felt like I wasn't creepy salesy. The more you genuinely try or genuinely want to help people that will come across. Um, if you're doing like what Courtney said and putting up stock images and like, there's a sale and all this stuff, like I wouldn't start that way. There's some times now where Courtney and I will do that, but we've, we've built our audience up enough that they know, they know what we are. I would focus more before you build up your credibility on you and showing up every single day to build your credibility and to be totally accountable to what you're doing so that people know, okay, she's the real deal. She's going to keep me accountable too. There's no BS here. She's not showing up one day and not showing up the other day and vice versa. Guys, newsflash, you are now essentially an accountability coach. If you can't be accountable to you and you can't show up every single day, people aren't going to want to, people aren't going to want to be coached by you. They want to know you're the real deal. People want to show up with winners. People want to sign up with people who are actually going to keep them accountable. You got to keep your account yourself accountable first, and then you will build credibility. It really loops All back, right. right? To, to the, your journey is your job. If, and, and another thing too, is like, if you don't know what to post, then lean deeper into your journey. What are you making? Go find the meal plans that I just posted, but pick one thing that looks interesting and post about it. Like lean into your journey. If you don't know what to share. Lead yourself first always, exactly. All right, guys, are we good? Happy week one. We're going to meet again next week. We're going to talk more about social media and dive like deeper into some of the, some of the more nitty gritty coaching issues. And um, after this call, we're going to drop part three and four, some more training in there. And we're just so excited for this crew. Um, also, guys, something that we never really advertised last year but always do is there's a rookie of the month award and that's something that we always announce after every training group is the rookie of the month and it's just kind of a cool honor and it usually goes to the person who either like has the most success club points or maybe added the most coaches or a combination of those sometimes there's a tie but if you are a competitive person then just FYI, there's that there too. So we'll see you guys all next week and uh, check into the chat for the next parts of the training. Thanks. Bye.